Welcome to this uh, segment of this tutorial. In this segment, I would like us to install Vue.js. And uh, what we are going to do is, I'm going to, I've already opened my uh, my uh, application, my quiz application in VS Code. If you're using VS Code, it will be good because you can be able to just follow through nicely. But if you use any other editor, it's perfect. So I want us to open new terminal and I want to install two things. The first thing I want to install is uh, Vue.js. And then the next thing I will install is the Vite.js plugin for Vue. Those two are the things that I'm going to install in this episode. And once we are done with those ones, we'll be done with this episode. So I would like us to install Vue.js and I'm just going to type in a command here, npm install view at next. And in this case, Vue.js is a JavaScript framework that um, assists us to be able to bring the JavaScript functionality into application. And so I will give it some time for it to install and finish. And in this case, I'm just going to post this video. We have successfully installed Vue.js. I'd like to clear terminal and install Vite.js plugin for Vue. So we're going to run the command npm install at Vite.js forward slash plugin view hyphen view like that. And also that command will be able to install for us Vite, which is a tooling for our application. And in this case, Vite is fully installed. I would like us to go to our Vite conf config JS. And then I would like us to, it, it's, a, it's a file that is actually the last in our Laravel folder structure down there. And then inside here, when we open Vite config JS, we are going to see something of this sort. I would like to import view from Vite plugin view. So this one here, and then we are going to use it as follows. So after that, after having the setup for Laravel, I would like us to have to say something for view for single file components. In this case, we are just going to have view. Do you have the curly braces? And inside here, we are going to have template. And inside the template, we have compiler options like that. And then also inside template, we will also have transform asset URLs. Transform asset URLs like that. And then that will be it. That is everything that we need to do inside here and we have been able to just set our Vite config j a Vite plugin for view to work within our Vite tooling so basically that is all we require to do here and this means we have reached the end of uh, what it is that i'm supposed to do within this part of the episode so thank you very much let us meet in the next episode